Some of you guys have been asking me how to get Daggerfall running on DOSBox Turbo. Well, I've never tried installing Daggerfall before, so I thought I'd give it a shot and see what I can do for you guys. I'm using the new DOSBox Turbo 1.3, and this version comes with a profile manager or a DOSBox manager that lets you manage your game profiles. I'm going to be using that, so let's get started. So as you can see, I've already created a Daggerfall profile. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what settings I've used. So the key to getting Daggerfall set up is to use the correct DOSBox settings. And you want to make sure your memory size is set to 16 megabytes. Uh, I left the frame skip and um, the, I left the frame skip at the default settings. The cycles, um, what I did was I'm using this option right here, the force CPU auto option. I have that on, and what that does is it will let DOSBox Turbo select the, the correct cycles as long as you have the cycles set to a high enough value. So I set cycles to 20,000, and I'm letting DOSBox Turbo um, manage the CPU by reducing the cycles so that there's no audio stutter. Now that's not the optimal way of getting started. Um, really, if you want the maximum speed out of your device, you probably want to disable this option and set the cycle rate optimally for the game that you're going to be playing. However, I wanted to get up and running as quickly as possible and it didn't really seem to affect performance that much. So I went ahead and did that. Uh, everything else is the same other than auto exec. I, I input an auto exec that takes me directly to the Daggerfall directory. I could have had the game auto start at this point as well, but I'm not going to do that for your benefit so that you can see some of the other setup that I've done with Daggerfall. Uh, let's see, anything else? The only other thing that I did was I changed the default Sound Blaster from Sound Blaster 16 to Sound Blaster 2. Um, I did that because I think it's a little bit faster, although I'm not 100% sure. Your, your mileage may vary. You may very well get the same speed with Sound Blaster 16 and you'll definitely get a little bit better sound quality with Sound Blaster 16. So. The other settings are all at their default. The only other setting that I did change was this keep aspect ratio. I turned it off because I like to have my games stretched full screen on my transformer tablet. So let's go ahead and start this and see what happens. So should take us directly to the DOS or Daggerfall directory. And I apologize in advance for the terrible video, but uh, this is the best I can do at the moment. Let's turn on the scale. We're in the Daggerfall directory. The first thing you're going to have to do to get started is set up the sound configuration. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, I've already done it. Uh, you can go to Auto Detect, and it should detect the device that you're using. In this case, I'm using the Sound Blaster instead of the Sound Blaster 16. One thing you want to make sure of is you want to make sure you have no MIDI device selected. By default, uh, DOSBox Turbo doesn't emulate a MIDI device, so I have no MIDI device selected. Then we hit OK, save. Now, Daggerfall is ready to go at this point. Uh, in fact, I could go back to the DOSBox manager and have it auto start at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and start it for you manually. So we're going to be running fall.exe. Ah, one other thing I wanted to show you. There is a config file called z.cfg. And in that config file, it will have the correct path to your Daggerfall Arena 2 directory. You need to make sure you set those paths before you, you begin. Okay, so let's start the game. So we're going to run fall.exe z.cfg. 
and then the game should start up. And here it goes. Skip the title screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and start a new game and I'll just pick any home province. Oops. Uh, let's see. I haven't played Daggerfall so I'm not too sure what to do here but I'm going to go ahead and create a character real quick. See if we can skip through all this. Okay, name thyself. All right. Just go with the defaults. Okay, I think I have to allocate some kind of points here. Okay. We'll do that here as well. Alright, and the video starts playing. I think we're going to skip through this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip that as well. Get you straight to the gameplay. Okay, we're not going to use the tutorial. Alright, so I guess you start out in a room here and see if I can kind of, there we go. I'm not sure how to play the game, so, but as you can see the game is playing, it's, it's relatively smooth, playing pretty good, um, with no optimizations uh, in the DOSBox config. I think with a little bit of optimization it will play really well. So there you go, Daggerfall on DOSBox Turbo.